in France, you know, that was a, hedgerows is all it was, you know, there then. I know one time there, and, and uh, I, uh, I was sergeant there, he would go go with a compass in, uh, to see which way to go, you know. It was at dark, it was show dark, you know. And so we'd come up to that hedgerow, and, uh, and he went on across it, but I was supposed to, it, we could go back each one of I mean, when we go so far, somebody else would stop there then and they'd go back to get the battalion and bring them back to where that point was then. But then I got to that hedgerow there, and it was my time. And so the, the, the sergeant was going on, you know, he said that then. He said, there's a, a gate somewhere or another on this hedgerow, so you go find it because you can't bring the whole battalion and let them, you know, crawl over the hedgerow. So I, it wasn't but a little piece before I found the a door, gate thing that, you know, for me. so I turned around and come back. But then it was so dark and all, whenever I was uh, going, I'd count my steps. And then when I got to find the gate, then I knew how many steps to come back to then go to get the rest of the chain and bring them up to that point. And then, and then, and then somebody else was going on ahead of that and coming back. That led us that night through there. That Vile River was the first attack that, you know, we went crossing on a little, little old, uh, bridge there. I don't think it was over uh, three feet wide. We crossed that little river there then. And I know whenever we were going on across it, some of them had already got shot. They was laying on the bank hollering, you know, for us. But because we couldn't stop, you know, we had to keep going. Usually, whenever we had that, uh, Foxholes and like that, it was two of us to the foxhole in there, you know. So it was, we was on uh, two hours, you know. We was on guard two hours and then we'd get back in the foxhole two hours up there at a time like that, you know. Or either, you know, if we was getting right in combat and all, of course, you didn't, you know, we was on the line then, you know, you didn't have nothing like that. You know. Well, it was sort of scared sometimes up there, you know, because you know that they were shooting at you. There then you could hear the bullets come like it was on the hedgerows, you know, the bushes up on them. You could hear them bullets, you know, come through them bushes up there. We were right on the front up there. There wasn't nobody between us and the enemy, you know. We, the next thing was the enemy right there then you know, on it. And it was just a small arms fire is what we was on that, the M1 rifles.